You were on uh, Rock of Love. I was on Rock of Love. You won Rock of Love. I won Brett Michaels. You won Brett Michaels. <laughs> Is this the third one? Rock of Love 3, right? Yes. Third okay. time's a charm, right? Okay. okay. So you won Brett Michaels. I won Brett Michaels. Is he still... Do you still have the prize? Yeah. You know, I, I'm asked that so much, and it's 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 crazy. And I'll be honest, we still talk, we still date. Um, it's been very, it's been more difficult probably than any other girl that's had any other season and tried to date him, because obviously with every new season, he's gained in popularity. Now he has um, this Poison Def Leppard Cheap Trick tour that mm -hmm. just wrapped. Yeah. That was huge. I mean, he was in a different city every single day. So you get off the show, you can't see each other for six months, and you're sitting there thinking, is this real? Is this really going to happen? Then you start talking and dating, and you're like, okay, it is real. It's, it's going really well. Then he's in a different city every day doing this big tour. And then as soon as that starts calming down a little bit, and you know our schedules are open up a little bit more, and we're seeing each other a little bit more, then bam, he's on Celebrity Apprentice. <laughs> so this man is so popular everybody wants a piece of him including me but you know it's like you gotta you know and I think that's why he picked me because he knew that I got that this is like his time and you know and he's got kids and you know good for him you know so I'm very supportive of everything that he's doing he's got this autobiography coming out so I'm very supportive of everything he's doing as you know he is of everything I've got going on so you know, we're not shutting the book, you know, it's it's all up in the air, like, maybe, you know, because I think I'm the best match of any of the girls from any of the seasons. Well, you know, honestly, I can, between you and me, it sounds almost, it sounds like friends with benefits. I I, I hate saying that, because it's just, it sounds so skank, but... <laughs> it sounds so shallow. It sounds well, so, so meaningless. So callous. I'm, I'm an outsider looking in here. I'm just, but this is the thing, it's... It's not. You know, the thing is... But you're both we, busy. You both have careers that are in different yes, cities. Yes, and yeah. it's not just friends with benefits because a lot of our relationship is communication. A lot of our relationship is just conversation and When are we going to get together and, and have sex again? No. No? It's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Why? I am like, my heart is breaking and you are making fun of it. No, well, I, no. can tell, I can sense that in you, that you're... Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. My expectations were a lot higher right after the show got over. You know, you're on this big high. Like, I really like this guy, and it's gonna be great. And then when you start realizing, oh my gosh, I really am not allowed to see or talk to him for six months. Yeah. Then of course you know everything starts coming to your mind. Like, well, what's he doing? Is he, you know, still gonna be on the same page? So it's like what every time think? you're kind of starting over. There's all, mm. always like this kind of start over point and then it, it speeds up Which and it can slows be down fun. and speeds up and slows down. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's been, you know, over a year now and it's kind of had a lot of peaks and, you know, there haven't been any valleys but just, you know, a lot of peaks and lulls and peaks yeah, and lulls. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I just don't think, I kind of joke with him, I'm like, you are like cursed in love. I think it's because everything else is so great for you. It's got to be like your Achilles heel, you know. There's got to be like that one thing that you just can't, that's out of your reach because you have to sacrifice something when you, you know, have Commit. this life yeah. of fame and yeah. in this career, you something's got to almost suffer, yeah. you know, to give as much to your fans as he does. Something's gonna gonna suffer.